Hey everyone and welcome back to Rebel Nails YouTube channel. Today we have a long awaited video for you guys. Today we will be showing you how to shape your nails. So today we will be showing you not one, not two, not three, but four different shaping styles. So we'll start with the stiletto, coffin, almond, and then we'll end with a tapered square. Before creating any of these shapes, make sure that you are prepping your nails. We do have a how to prep your nails YouTube video, so definitely check that out as well. So when prepping the nails, you just wanna use a fine drill bit or a buffer, gently buff the nail and remove any of the shine off of your natural nail. If your nails aren't quite as long as you'd like them to be, you can go ahead and apply some tips. Once you've found a tip that fits your natural nail, make sure that it covers sidewall to sidewall. Apply ProBase as your adhesive and then firmly press the tip onto your nail. Apply activator where the tip meets the natural nail. This just helps speed up the adhesion. Use scissors, a nail trimmer, or a nail tip cutter, and then just trim the nail down to your desired length. File and buff down the tip to blend it with your natural nail, and brush off any excess powder. When it comes to creating the stiletto nail shape, you're gonna to wanna to imagine a line going right down the middle of your nail. So from there, we'll be cutting to the point of that middle line. Now we're going to cut each side, cutting towards the sidewalls. Now line up the file with the sidewalls and then begin filing on each side. File a little bit on each side, constantly checking to make sure that it's even. Over filing on one side can create an uneven shape. Line a file to the center of the nail, and when it comes to the point, that's how you know you've created a perfectly sharp nail. Now when it comes to the coffin shape, you once again want to create that line down the middle of your nail with your imagination. And then we're going to cut each side of the nail into an isosceles triangle. It is important to note you'll be cutting off less for this shape than you did for the stiletto tip. Carefully file both sidewalls to make sure that you're maintaining that crisp, sharp line that creates that coffin look. File the bottom of the nail for a nice straight edge if needed. The tip should be flush with the sidewalls, creating a nice, clean, free edge. Now with the almond shape, before you cut the nail, it's important to make sure that you leave a little extra because it will shorten once we get into shaping. Visualize a line going right down the center of the nail. This is where the center of the point will be. Using the nail clipper, cut each side of the artificial nail tip like a right triangle. It should look like a sharp pencil point. Line the file up with the sidewall of your nail, filing inwards. File a little bit on each side to make sure that it's even. Make sure not to press into the sidewall of the nail. That can cause lifting. Keep the point rounded compared to a stiletto, which would be nice and sharp. Last but not least, we have our tapered square. Line your file up with your sidewall, gently bringing it in at the bottom. File back and forth a little at a time. Don't file too much at an angle and don't file too much inwards because then that'll lead to a coffin shape. Keep the file straight and parallel to make sure that you're getting that clean, straight edge at the bottom. While the coffin shape is a bit more narrow, the tapered square has a wider base. Now that you guys know how to create these four beautiful nail shapes, definitely leave us a comment below for which is your favorite, which one you don't think you would ever try, and which one you always lean towards. For me, I never think that I'll be doing the almond shape, but I'm actually wearing almond right now, but I typically wear the coffin. So definitely let us know what you guys are trying and loving. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our other videos. Bye guys.